Hi, this is Dr. Sage Breslin, and this is Wisdom Wednesdays, video number 65. So the other day I was kind of scanning through LinkedIn, and after a while I thought to myself, what is this, high school? Now, don't take offense. <laughs> the reason I said it is because there were so many folks who were pitching their wares. Um, even my email uh, box and certainly my DM box has been filled with pitches from everyone. And when I say pitches, I mean pitches, marketing, selling in my face all day, every day. And, you know, I wanted to speak to that because I think it's really interesting. We certainly all have our own styles for reaching out to our prospective clients. So, you know, here was my thought. There are a lot of us who, during that journey of adolescence and high school, um, didn't have the greatest of time. You know, I, I'm not just talking about the mean girls. In fact, most of the men that I see today who were bullied or beaten up in high school, it was men, not women. So it's not just mean girls. It was also a lot of mean guys. And for a lot of us, we just wanted to fit in. You know, and in fact, fitting in was safer. And we sought validation. We just wanted to be liked. We wanted to be um, embraced into the fold. You know, I'm sure there were very few of us who didn't want to be a popular kid, but not even just popular, but accepted. And so the idea of pitching and marketing can be, and selling even, can be like that experience in high school. You know, if your DM or your email is not responded to or even opened or clicked, you can feel as if you're not being seen, not being heard, um, not being accepted. If you are not selling successfully, um, again, you're going to feel as if you're not receiving that validation for what you are but what you are is part of who you are. What you're selling is part of who you are. So let's talk about, you know, how do we, how do we do that? How do we come out of our shells? How do we embrace our core? And how do we simply represent who we are so that our prospective clients and customers can simply see us? That's what most of us are here to do, to create those connections, to experience connections with like-minded professionals whose worlds might be better with the kinds of services that we provide. And so when you look at this, perhaps learning to embrace your core is a little bit more important than taking yet another marketing class on you know, strategizing the perfect email and the perfect funnel and the perfect number of times to pitch and market every day. And believe me, I've spent a lot of money doing those courses and I'm, I'm sure they are all well and good. There are people getting incredibly wealthy as a result of those courses. So the question you might ask is when you pitch and market that way, do your prospective clients and customers actually see you? Because I see you, I hear you. There's enough for all of us out there. We don't all have to use the same strategies. If your prospective clients, customers, relationship partners can see you and hear you for who you really are, they're going to want to work with you. And that's whatever it is you're marketing, whatever it is you have to offer, they just want to spend time with you. And they know that somebody who is bold and courageous enough to represent themselves in just that way, there's somebody to keep around. There's somebody to invest trust with. There's somebody to invest, uh, you know, funds with. So give it some thought. And if you find that you are struggling to really dive deep and embrace your core and be authentic with this audience or any audience, give me a call or DM me 
there would be a place in my box. I do try to clear it out every day because that's what I do. I help you see yourself in the way I can see you. That is my superpower. I can see beyond your self-doubt. I can see beyond, you know, self-confidence that may be lagging. I can see beyond what you've been told and what the voices in your head tell you. And I don't mean the psychotic ones. I mean all those limiting beliefs. I see you who, for who you are. And I can help you see yourself in that way as well. So this is Wisdom Wednesdays. And my wisdom for the day is have courage to embrace who you really are and show the world. It's going to be worth it.